In Creole Parametric, the conversion feature in sheet metal mode allows you to take a solid part that was converted into sheet metal and then be able to flatten it. Let's take a look at how to use it. Here I have a solid part open. Obviously, this is not a sheet metal part, but I can go to my Operations Overflow menu. Down here at the bottom, we have Convert to Sheet Metal. And that'll open up the ribbon with three different methods for turning this into a sheet metal part. You can either define a driving surface, or you could shell the part, or you could create an empty sheet metal body in this solid part. I will use the shell command. And let me pick a couple surfaces to remove using the control key. That's good. Now I can hit the check mark, and we are in sheet metal mode. But if I try to use the flat pattern preview, well, I am going to get an error because as it says down here, let me move this aside, the model is not fully flattened because you can't flatten it. It's not developable. So we're going to use the conversion feature. And when I click on the conversion feature, it's going to open up a dashboard. And the conversion feature is really like a super feature consisting of four other sheet metal features. You have the edge rip, the rip connect, the edge bend, and the corner relief. I'm gonna cancel out of here for a moment. Instead of using the conversion feature, you can use those individual features as you want one by one. So for example, here we have the edge rip, here we have the rip connect, and elsewhere you will find the corner relief and the other command that was in there. But let's go to the conversion feature and use that. So first off, let me put some bends in here. So I'll click on the edge bend and it changes the dashboard. Now we have one for the edge bend feature. Let me select this edge and hold down the control key and select some other additional edges in here and grab that one and one over here. And let's change the bend radius. I'm gonna make it two times the thickness just so that it is a little easier for you to see. That's good. I will hit the check mark and we are back to the dashboard for the conversion feature. Next up, let's put some edge rips in here. I will click on the command and it opens up the dashboard for the edge rip. And let me select this edge and hold down the control key and pick that one and this one over here. Let me rotate the model and pick three of the edges over on the other side. And that is good, so it will rip those. And the very last one after I hit the check mark, I'm not gonna put in a rip connect, but I have a video on rip connect if you want to see how to do that. Let's put in our corner relief, and the corner relief is automatically placed in the two corners where it can be placed. It's a little hard to see the notes on the computer screen. But for the type, let's change this from a V notch. Instead, I will use circular. And let's choose for the size of it. Again, I'll just use two times the thickness so that it is a little easier to see inside of there. Looks a little ugly in the corner there, but that's fine. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete that one. And now I have to find all the different features in order to convert this. By the way, if you ever want to change one that you've already set up, hey, just click on it and you'll see that we have our different references and the values that were given in here. But let's hit the check mark to get out of the edge rip and then hit the check mark to get out of the conversion feature. And now if I try to go to the flat pattern preview, hey, lo and behold, now it can be flattened. So that's how you can use the conversion feature in order to take a part that was converted from solid to sheet metal and then be able to flatten it.